Mwacha tuendelee na taarifa zetu ambapo wa Kenya wameombwa kujiunga na mashirika ya kuwekeza ili kuwa na mpangilio kwa kutumia hela zao ipasavyo siku za usoni. Ujumbe huu ulitolewa na washikadau na viongozi wa shirika waumini sako wakati shirika hilo lilipotoa mkopo wa shilingi milioni 65 kuisaidia kanisa la Katoliki la St Monica Kitengela kununua kipande cha ardhi. Aidha viongozi hao wamesema watafanya kazi na serikali kwa karibu kwa kutoa mkopo wenye riba ya chini ili kubadilisha maisha wa Kenya wanaopitia wakati mgumu. <tos> Today we are privileged to have uh, Waumini Sako, our actually benefactors. We have been having a dream of uh, extending the, the church community with the growing numbers. So we had a land nearby and it was costing for around 65 million and we managed to get this facility from Waumini Sako. Our president is very passionate uh, with the savings and especially what they call the bottom up approach. And I think the SACO industry or the SACO sector provides uh, a ready platform to be able to realize that kind of uh, a vision. And uh, as we mean SACO, we are willing and open to partner with government so that we can get this message uh, reaching to the grassroots. So if there is any of those opportunities available, yes, we mean SACO is more than ready to partner with the government. To Naunga Mkono Juhudi za Serikali, za kuweza kuwaangazia wale walio chini sana na ndiposa tumejitolea kutoa mikopo kwa wananchi wa kawaida ili waweze kujimarisha kiuchumi na kuyaendeleza maisha yao kwa sababu tunapitia wakati mgumu uh, kiuchumi lakini hatuwezi kufa moyo kwa sababu tuna imani ya kwamba tuviumbe vyake Mwenyezi Mungu na hivyo wito wetu ni kwa wote ambao wanaweza kujiunga nasi tunawakaribisha ili mradi kwa pamoja tuweze kuimarisha uchumi wa taifa letu we are the ones who contribute to the government so if then we create a robust uh, savings culture then that is going to go a long way in transforming our, our society wazazi na walezi umetakiwa kuchukua majukumu yao kikamilifu kwa usalama